Who has a question? They have no questions. They just want their cocktails. What? You, I think you like dropped all the knowledge. Anyone? Anyone? I'm a chatty gal. One question. I know. Guys. So Not going, even a question about Mike Ross. That surprises me. I got to tell you, there's nowhere I can go without people going, oh, <laughs> no, please tell me it's not a Mike Ross right, question. We're going to get you a that. mic. We're going to run it over. If you could stand up. Awesome. Hi. We're going to have to get more drinks in you guys. <laughs> Loosen you up. Just get it. I swear, four people asked me, like, do you want some champagne? Do you want some champagne? Megan, do you want some champagne? I was like, no, I'm good. No, the I'm good. No, I'm good. Success. And then it just appears. I was like, oh, my God. I would have gotten you the wine. It would have been so appropriate. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> bubbles are always a win. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Alia. Hi. Um, today, I've kind of just noticed we've talked a lot about Can motivation. Can you bring it closer? Sorry. I said, today, I've noticed that we've talked a lot about motivation and kind of following your gut. Megan, I was wondering if you could speak a little bit to the very conservative part of business that's still very much alive and how you manage feminism and being feminine? Oh, this one is so interesting. That's a great question. Thank you. And it's not about Mike Ross. Um, you know, I, I just think they are not mutually exclusive. For those of you who didn't hear, she was asking about how you balance being a feminist and being feminine. And I had written an article for uh, the Irish Independent, which is a big newspaper in Ireland about that exact thing because I've been really fortunate enough to um, just meet with a lot of really powerful and incredible women. I was speaking at One Young World in Ottawa a couple weeks ago and I was there with Mary Robinson who was the former president of Ireland. And my favorite is these moments like between her and I had seen Angela Merkel as well before and before these events either at the UN or whatever else and you see these powerhouse women going like, where's my compact? I need to put on my lipstick. Is my lipstick okay? And it's one of those things where it's like, yes, because of course, you can still be a woman who wants to look beautiful and present well, and it doesn't lessen the fact that you are standing up for something that is incredibly important and about the equality of the 